I'm a funded day trainer managing half a million dollars in prop firm capital. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to pass prop firm challenges using one setup on one pair at one time of day. The strategy does not require daily bias. It happens multiple times per week. And if you master it, it will be your first aha moment in your trading journey. Now, I've seen a lot of people talking about quitting your job in 90 days with a silver bullet strategy. But is it really true that you can quit your job using this strategy? And the answer to that statistically is yes. Yes, I'm going to show you the proven and tested results of the strategy showing that not only you can pass a prop firm challenge, but maintain consistent profitability with this strategy. The video that ICT released for the silver bullet is a framework instead of a direct strategy, and it does not provide methods for entering or exiting trades. And as most ICT frameworks, this severely confused a lot of traders. Now, as we all know, it takes more than a framework to make money, which is why I decided to use this valuable framework that ICT gave us to create a simple to use, easy to spot and easy to execute strategy. Now, I want to be very clear that if you do not follow every single rule of this strategy, it will be more harmful than helpful. And instead of you being able to quit your job, you will quickly be looking for a new job. Seriously, pay close attention from start to finish to make sure that you are ready to use the strategy in a live market. Market. With so many different open-ended possibilities, newer traders can easily misunderstand the ICT silver bullet, which causes them to overthink or to hesitate, which are all fatal mistakes in the markets. But I want you to forget all of that because we're going to go over a very simple three-step strategy that requires no daily bias, no draw on liquidity, and little to no experience with ICT. As always, the best way to teach is by example, so let's go ahead and hop onto the charts. What is up, everybody? As I said before, it is always best to teach by example. So today I'm going to be using Forex Replay to show you how this strategy actually looks as candles print rather than using TradingView and just marking up old price action. But before we begin, I have some super exciting news to share with you guys. And that is that I'm going to be giving away a 100K prop from challenge for free. And I'm going to give you the instructions on how to enter this giveaway later in the video. So make sure to pay attention to the end. So this strategy is very, very simple. There are only two rules and then there are three steps to the execution. So the only rules for this strategy are that we're going to be only trading the NASDAQ, which is NQ or NAS 100 or US 100, depending on your broker. It's just NAS 100, NASDAQ, NQ, whatever you want to call it. And then you have to close all trades or cancel the orders by 4 p.m. And 4 p.m. as in New York time. Every time that I ever tell you guys is going to be New York Eastern time. So as for the first of the three steps, we're going to be waiting until the 10 a.m. silver bullet hour, right? So the silver bullet does have three different time windows. There's 3 to 4 a.m., 10 to 11 a.m., and then 2 to 3 p.m., but we're going to be only focusing on the a.m. hour, right? So what's really cool about Forex Replay is you can actually click go to and it'll take you right to the next silver bullet session. But what I've done to make it even quicker is I've actually customized my next day open time to 10 a.m. since we're only using one silver bullet session. Now, notice up here you can either show or hide news events. We're not worried about that because news events are not involved in this strategy. So we went to the next day open and all we're going to be waiting for after the first step is just to see a five minute fair value gap form and it's gonna be the very very first five minute fair value gap and it has to form before 11 a.m that is it so that's step two so let's see if we can get that let's see no fair value gap yet okay boom we've got a fair value gap right here so we are going to draw out that fair value gap so the third step is how we're going to actually execute this trade so step three is just to set a limit order on the fair value gap with a stop at fair value gap candle number one. Now this is very important and we're going to be targeting a fixed two to one risk reward. Yes, it is literally that simple, right? And you have so many people overcomplicating this and you know going into the one minute and all these unnecessary things and making it much, much harder than it needs to be. You don't have to worry about daily bias. We're not worried about previous day high or previous daily low or previous weeks high or low or ICT 22. We're not worried about any of that. Literally, this is it, right? So we are going to go ahead and place an order right here, put it like that, fix two to one risk to reward. Now let's see if this gives a trade. It's entered us into a trade right there pretty quickly and it goes pretty quickly to the take profit. So let's go ahead and click go to the next day open which is going to be 10 a.m. I have it set. Now notice there is news here. That's okay. It does not matter, right? So, okay, boom, we have a fair value gap. Now notice that fair value gap was formed after the news Judas swing. So first fair value gap after 10 a.m. And it can be the 10 a.m. candle. I've seen some people saying it can't be that. Um, 
I've tested this strategy and I'm going to share the results with you guys at the end of this along with this test, but with a much, much longer test to show you guys that this works. And yes, trading can be that simple. So we're going to go ahead, click that place order. It automatically risks 1%. Boom. We're going to do that right there. Let's see. It gives us an entry goes right to the take profit, right? Now it's not going to be like that. Every time there are losses, this is not a hundred percent win rate clickbait. It's not, it's not a hundred percent. It's a very high win rate, but it's not a hundred percent as nothing is. But after that, we're going to go to the next day open. We're going to wait for the first fair value gap to form. Boom. There's a fair value gap right there. The first candle. So we're going to do this Now the stop. Whenever I say the first candle low, it remember a fair value gap is a three candle formation, right? It's not just this candle. So we're putting it under that first candles low and targeting a fixed two to one risk to reward. Now it doesn't matter if there's structure or liquidity Now we're not targeting structure or a fair value gap or anything. It's just two to one risk to reward. Very simple. All right, so let's see it gives us an entry okay, it's moving pretty nicely goes right to the tp now another thing i want you guys to notice is there's been a setup three days in a row this is not how it's always going to happen but this setup will occur multiple times per week so we're going to go ahead and go to the next silver bullet session this is a sunday if, if it hits a sunday sometimes it'll go to that so so if that happens make sure you're not trading on sundays only monday through friday so next day open and you couldn't trade on a Sunday anyways, because it's 10 a.m. Market's not open, but um, we're going to go ahead and wait for, see if a fair value gap forms. Okay, there is a fair value gap. Now, this is a very, very important part of this strategy. And this is why mechanical strategies are very, very powerful. Now, if you're just looking at this, you might say, oh, that's not a big enough fair value gap, but it is a fair value gap. We have to follow the rules, win or lose, whether we like it, whether we feel good about it or not. That is how you stay objective and maintain your edge in the market. You know, so many traders, they learn to trade, they get a strategy and they're scared to execute it because things don't look picture perfect or they don't have confidence in the setup. And that is why I'm sharing this setup with you guys, because a lot of you are still on that stage and this can help you tremendously. If you just test the data and you have a reason to believe in the strategy, you will go out in the field and you will execute relentlessly. And it takes the pain away from losing. As long as you have good risk management, you know you have an edge in the market, you don't care to lose. You just start to operate in that flow state. And that, my friends, that is how you become a successful trader. So let's see if it gives an entry. Another nice trade. Pretty quick to the TP here on this trade. So you can see the account is already up 8,000 bucks, right? That is just risking two to one risk to reward. Now, this is in a couple of days. Now, this is not always going to happen. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is a 100% win rate strategy. So don't say that I'm saying that. I'm just showing you guys how well the strategy works on price action. And I want you guys to go test this for yourself. And I want you to tweet me just like the last strategy that I put out. We had a lot of people come in and do extensive tests and show you guys just not from me that it works, right? These mechanical strategies work very, very well. So going to the next day's open. Boom, right here, we have our first fair value gap. Now notice again, we're not going on any other time frames. We're not doing anything except spotting that first fair value gap. Stop under the first candle, fixed two to one risk to reward. I'll place an order right here. Boom, let's see, it almost stopped out, but it looks like it might not. Oh, max pain if this stops. Okay, I was gonna say that would suck. You got entered in right here, and then you got entered in over here, almost stopped out. Came back to break even a couple times and notice how it actually reacts to this level throughout the day and but after that it went to the take profit so let's go ahead and go to the next day as you can see the accounts up 10 percent already this is just in i think a little over a week you guys can see that the strategy gives a lot of setups and it's very simple i mean this is probably the easiest strategy that i have ever used myself um, or taught so boom next day open let's see if we get a fair value gap boom there's a fair value gap right there Let's see if we get a setup. Boom, put a stop loss under that. Make sure you're trying to get these as close as possible to the fair value gap. You wanna maintain accuracy when you're doing tests. So two to one fixed, get it right. And we're gonna place an order, boom, right there. Enters immediately. Okay, and there's a stop. That's totally okay. You know, that's part of trading. As I said, nothing is 100% win right, right? So let's go ahead and go to the next daily open. Right here is 10 a.m. Let's see if we can get a setup. We've got a fair value gap. We've got a setup. Let's see if we get an entry. So you just put a stop loss here. And, and this is important that you guys come to the market the next day after taking that loss and make sure you're executing relentlessly. That's how you maintain your edge. So we're going to place our order right here. 
Um, let's go ahead and see if it hits. It's kind of running away from us. And this is important. You don't chase price. It's important. You don't just try to, you know, FOMO out because as soon as you do things like that, you're losing your edge. So the market's taking a little bit. I want to be very clear that let's say if the market does tap into this and then still comes back to our entry before 4 p.m., you still use the same target because we're not using this level based on price. It's just two to one risk to reward. And I've tested this extensively. So trust me, that is what you want to do. So we're going to make sure that we have this extended out to 4 p.m. Um, these trades that tend to take a little longer, you want to make sure that you're not leaving orders and you're not breaking the rules. So you see the price has reached up here. It's ran away quite a bit. Even if it comes back down before 4 p.m., we're going to still execute this trade. Okay, so it seems like it's almost 4 p.m., obviously not coming back. So you would just cancel at that time. We're at the next daily open. Let's see if we can get a fair value gap. Boom, we've got a fair value gap. Again, it doesn't matter how small the fair value gap is. We are going to trade it relentlessly. It doesn't matter if it's win or lose. You have to make sure you're not selecting these with any kind of emotion, you know, with any discretion. Oh, I don't really like this as a small fair value gap or, oh, I'm looking at other charts. If you're going to trade this strategy, like I've said multiple times, you need to follow it to a T. That is how you maintain an edge in the market. So this trade was a loss. That's okay. Let's go ahead and go to the next daily open. We've got the next day. Wait for the first fair value gap. Okay, it's already formed pretty quickly. So you would be trading right here. Boom. Now remember, even if it's a wide stop, you still trade mechanically, right? You're trading with the stop loss above that area and you're doing a fixed two to one risk to reward. We're gonna go ahead and place our order. Boom, we got that. Looks like it tagged us in barely right off of the fair value gap right there. Let's see what happens. Just moving around a little bit, kind of teetering around. Go ahead and put this over to the 4 p.m. Just to remember to close it before then if price doesn't reach our stop or our target. Okay, so we close it right there. Looks like it was still a 1R profit. So it's very important you follow this again to a T because I've tested this extensively and you need to follow everything if you want to get good results. You can see the account is up just under 9%. This is already past phase one of most prop from challenges long ago, but you can see the account is still doing very nice. We go to the next daily open. Let's wait for the first fair value gap to form. See if there is one, nothing yet. Okay, there's a fair value gap right there. Remember always under that first fair value gap candle, we're going to fix two to one risk to reward there, place an order and right to the TP. That was a very, and these are the trades you live for, right? Like these are, these are what we love when we get these kind of trades. I mean, you should be objective no matter what, but you know, let's be honest, it's nice when you get a TP in a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and hop into the analytics. Now, this is something else I really like about Forex Replay. It shows you in depth, like extremely, extremely in depth, how this strategy works. So you can even filter it out by each day. Now, this strategy, we're not going to be doing that. Uh, you know, if you guys want to take this strategy and build something on your own, that's on you. But if you follow this to a T and you want to see these kind of results, you need to make sure that you trade this to a T. So this strategy right now on this test has 77.78% win rate. Now I want to be clear that it's not going to hold that 80% win rate for eternity. It's likely to go closer to the other results that I'm going to show you, which are closer to 50%, but it's still extremely, extremely profitable over time. So I had a total of nine trades. None were break even. We're never using break even stops. The only reason the average risk reward is this because we had to close that one early. So the overall statistics, it looks like Monday and Wednesday were the only days that saw losses. The average trade time is one hour. That's not a long time. And it's really nice with the strategy is, you know, if you're maybe running a business or working or you have other, you know, time constraints, it's just one hour a day. That's it. Right. You if the if the setup doesn't happen between 10 and 11, you have no setup. If it does happen, you enter the trade. And the only thing you need to do is make sure that if the TP or the stop hasn't hit by four, that you close the trade or cancel the order. That's all you have to do. Right. Uh, another nice thing about it is whenever you lose, you usually know pretty quickly. Also, there's only one setup per day, which can help a lot of you guys who are DGENs and have, you know, over trading problems because there's only one setup a day. So here are some analytics for a longer period of time, which is a total of 77 trades. You can still see it has a 48% win rate and the account is up 27%. And that is in just under a quarter. Now these are amazing results, right? 27%, let's say if you have um, a 100K funded account and you were just scaling that, you would be up $27,000 in just a couple of months off of a $500 investment. Um, and speaking of 100K accounts, I'm going to be giving away a TFT or the funded trader 100K account. You can pick what challenge you want, whether it's the Royal or the standard challenge or the other challenge they have. 
and the instructions on how to enter this giveaway is you're going to go down to the tweet that I have put in the description of this video. You're going to retweet that and you're going to comment and tag three friends. Do not tag three influencers. If you tag an influencer, you will not win. I promise you. Do not tag influencers, only tag your friends, right? So again, retweet that tweet. Also, you need to comment on this video and just say funded. And then you also need to tag three friends. And that is to enter the giveaway. Today's date when I'm filming this is August 3rd. I'm going to be finalizing the giveaway on August 10th. So that's seven days from now. So if you're watching this video, make sure to enter that giveaway and you'll win a 100K challenge from the funded trader. And again, here are some more of these back testing results. I really encourage you guys to go and test this for yourself. And if you do, make sure to use code Casper at the Forex replay link that's gonna be in the description. It'll get you a discount on the software you watch me use for this video. And please, as always, reach out to me on Twitter, anywhere that you want to ask me questions about this. I hope that a lot of people test this strategy like they did the last video that I made on a simple strategy, because at the end of the day, you guys, even if you're watching this and you see me test it in front of you and you see me prove it to you, you need to prove it to yourself or you're not going to have that rational confidence that every trader needs to succeed. So as always, guys, if you can't see the liquidity, then you are the liquidity. I'll see you guys next time.